Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be filming a ColourPop haul and I'm super duper excited because I only have like a quad that I got from ColourPop a few, like a last year, it's like a quad. This is the only thing I have from ColourPop and it's just eyeshadows, but I've been really wanting to try some more of their products so I made quite a bit or quite a big purchase from them and I'm super duper excited. Got a lots of lippies and some eyeshadows and a highlighter. So if y'all want to see it, this is going to be the first time I'm seeing it as well because I haven't opened anything except for what I have on my lips because I had to try one of them out for the video. And yeah, I'm going to go ahead and swatch everything for you guys so you can see what they look like. Plus, I want to swatch them so I can see what they look like. So if y'all want to see this ColourPop haul, then go ahead and keep watching. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So this is what the box looks like. It's super duper cute on there and it says ColourPop. Um, the box like on the outside just looks plain. It just has my information and stuff on there. And then it's like packed completely with like this foam stuff so nothing breaks. And I like shook it when I first got it and nothing moved so that's really cool. And then it just comes on top with these papers that they give you from ColourPop. Um, just your receipt. And just this note, it says, hey love, thank your mom for the jeans that gave you your crazy good looks. Happy Mother's Day from ColourPop. So they give you this little letter and then they also give you like a book that probably shows you some looks or something in there. Yeah, just shows you looks and stuff like that. But let's get to the good stuff. So this is my stuff. It's nicely packaged into the box. Hopefully I don't drop anything. Like I said, I got lippies and eyeshadows and stuff. So let's go ahead and check them out. So I'm gonna go ahead and just mention the first one that I got because it's on my lips. And this is the Ultra Matte Lip In Beeper. So this is what the box looks like. Really cute packaging, all white with like metallic lettering. And this is what the color looks like. So this one, like I said, is called Beeper. And it's this like, well I have it on, but it reminds me of Stila Patina, but a darker version. I don't know if I have that one here so I could show you. So it's a little bit more brown than Patina, but to me they look very similar on the lips and just Beeper is a much more brown and like darker and deep. And like I said, I'm wearing it and I did wear a lip balm under, but I haven't really grown to know the formula yet because it's my first time wearing it so I will let you know if I end up liking the formula but um this is what the lip um packaging looks like it's really pretty um silver cap and then the same metallic lettering and then it says the color on the bottom so let's go ahead and swatch Bieber even though I'm wearing it and the applicator's really hard but it makes it really easy to like lip line your lips with I noticed and yeah so far so good so that one is a beeper and they dry super duper matte too and all the lippies that i did get are the ultra matte lips so they're all liquid lipsticks in the mattest form they have i do believe they came out with a more mattifying one never mind this one just the ultra matte lip so that's what formula it's under i didn't get any different formulas so they're all going to be that formula just different colors so the next one that I have here is Limbo, and this is so pretty. I'm so excited to swatch it. Um, so this one is like a brown, but it, to me it's like a warm brown, like a really warm brown, almost reddish, but not so much. Like it's more brown, but it has like red undertones in it. So I'm super duper excited because to me that makes the brown more wearable when it has like reds in it, because if it's straight up brown, it doesn't look wearable and it kind of makes it look dead like I don't know but this one looks really wearable and I'm excited to try it out Ooh. I am so excited for this oh yeah it's like a brown saddle color I have natural lighting so hopefully you are gonna be able to tell the true color it does look a little bit deeper on camera but it's a true like saddle brown shade let me know if y'all want like lip swatches of these like a lip swatch video like really quick um, but yeah, that one is called Limbo. Next up we have Lumiere 2 and this is the liquid lipstick that they have with Kathleen Lights. They, she also has a lippy stick that came out first, um, or a lippy pencil, but I didn't get that one. I just wanted a liquid lipstick and I like this color a little bit better. They're kind of the same, but not, they're kind of different too, but this one's super duper pretty. Um... This one is, a, I'm just like comparing everything to Patina, but this one is a little bit more pinker than Patina and a little bit more cool toned. I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell. And like I said, this one's called Lumiere 2. Super excited for this one. 
Oh my god, that is so pretty. So it's like a lighter version of Beeper. Lumiere 2 is. I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell. Oh my god, so pretty. Super duper excited. That one might be my favorite so far. So far, I can't talk today. The next one I got is Tool. And to me on line, this looked like a more burgundy shade. Oh my Jesus, so pretty. So it's like a true burgundy, like maroon shade. Let me go ahead and swatch that one. I have nothing in my collection of lipsticks that's like the shade, it's so unique. So if you have like the same lipstick everywhere, I would try this out because this one is so different and so pretty. It's like an orangey maroon red. It's like very hard to explain, but it's like a true maroon shade. And that one is called Tool. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. And last but not least for the liquid lipsticks, I have Trap. This one, oh, it's like a purpley light, a little bit of pink with gray in it. So it's your true like gray color, like that color that everybody loves lately. Oh God, that was a lot. Oh my gosh, that is a pretty nude shade. Super duper pretty. This one is more of a beige with purple undertone and like that grayish color. Oh my God, it's so pretty. That would be so pretty with any like bold eye look. <gasps> so I got three that are more of like the mauve shades, but they're all different. I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell, but they're so different. And oh my gosh, I think that one might be my favorite now. And then Tool, oh my Jesus. Okay, I have to stop. So those were all the liquid lipsticks that I got. Um, Beeper or Lumiere 2 and Trap look very similar in the tube, but they're way different like I said. So I got all those and I really, really like them. So far so good with the formula. So yeah, got those. Oh, I lied about the lipsticks. I actually did get a lippy um, pencil and this is in the color Frenchie. I forgot about this. And it's a red, I already know, because I ordered it, of course, but I'm super excited to see what it looked like. What it looks like, I cannot talk today. So the, all the reds in my collection of lipsticks and liquid lipsticks are either really orangey red or maroon, dark, deep reds. So I really wanted just a true red, so that's why I got this color. And I heard the formula of the matte um, lippy pencils, or, or lippy sticks, that's what it's called. The formula of the matte lippy sticks are not that drying and they're really good. So like I said, I only have like orangier reds like these, like a NYX one, Anastasia. They all have like an orange undertone or they're really, really dark reds. So I wanted a just true red. So I got this one and it's called Frenchie, like I said. And the matte formula, let's go ahead and swatch it. It looks exactly like the cap, like no difference, exactly. This does not feel matte at all. And it actually looks more orange. So hopefully on my lips, it turns out a little bit more red. But to me, it looks like a really, really bright, I cannot swatch, a really, really bright red, but. Well, now that it's drying, it does look more of a true red. I'm not sure. But it's supposed to be a blood, like, or not blood, but like a fire truck red. But to me, it does look a little bit orangey. I don't know how it's going to look on me with my hair. Hopefully it looks good. But yeah, I got that one. It doesn't seem drying. It actually feels really buttery. So I don't know how that's going to dry. If it dries more matte or what. But I noticed that all these shades are more of a fall, winter kind of shades. Except for that one. So, you know, my taste. But hopefully they'll be good for summer. So those are the only lip products that I got. And now I'm gonna go on to eyeshadows. So it doesn't say the name of the eyeshadow on the box anywhere. It just says Super Shock right there on the top. And I looked on the bottom, it doesn't say the name. The back, it doesn't say the name. So on the boxes, they don't really give you the name. So let's go ahead and open it and see what it says. Oh, so this one is called I Heart This. And it's literally like I a heart this. <laughs> And oh my god, this looks so pretty. A lot of people actually buy this one, so I'm super duper excited. Like, it's a more popular shade. I'm so excited for this. 
Oh my gosh, it feels so buttery. So that is what it looks like on my finger. It looks super pretty. It looks like a light gold with lots of silver in it. But on my arm, it didn't swatch like that. It swatched more of like a sheer wash of glitter sheen. So I'm not sure how it's gonna show up on my eyes, but let me go ahead and show you the swatch. So like I said, that is what it looks like on my finger and then on my arm, it's just like a sheer wash of color. So it would probably show up like this on my eyes unless I really packed it on. But still, that's super duper pretty for like a just natural look where you just want something on your lid so it doesn't look blank. So that is I Heart This and on my finger, dang, that looks really pretty. Like in the center or in the inner corner of your eye, that would look so pretty. But yeah, so next we have, okay, so next up we have Bay. Straight up Bay, cute name. And this is what this one looks like. So to me online, this looked like blue brown pigment, picnic, piglet, blue brown pigment from MAC. So I'm thinking it's very similar, but a little bit darker. And also the one from Makeup Geek, I cannot remember the name. Let's just go ahead and swatch it. Oh my God. It's like a purpley blue with a red in it. Oh my God, that is so gorgeous. Oh, I cannot wait to do some smoky eye with this. So the same thing happened with this shadow. I don't know if it's just how, that's how their shadows are or if my finger just absorbed all the shadow. But on my finger, it looks pretty dang pigmented. On my wrist, it looks pigmented, but not as pigmented as it does on my finger. But it's like a maroon purple with blue glitter in it. It's super duper pretty. So that one is called Bay, like I said. Next up, I'm super duper like excited for this color. It just screams like tutorial on it for me. Like I want to do a tutorial with this, like a fantasy fairy look or something like that. Oh, it's so beautiful. And this one is called Fantasy. And oh, look at this color. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. It's like a purple with lots of pink glitter in it and a hint of like blue. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. Let's go ahead and swatch that. And these are all metallic finishes. I don't know if I mentioned that already, but yeah, they're all metallic, didn't get any matte. Oh, look at that guys, beautiful. My finger's dirty. This reminds me of my prom dress from my senior year. Oh, so beautiful. Yes. So once you swatch it, it turns more pink. I don't know if you could tell, but when I swatched it, it looks like a more pink shade with less glitter, oh, but it's so beautiful. It's like pink with pink glitter in it. I will be using this and all these products in a get ready with me or a tutorial so you can see how they show up on my eyes. But yeah, I'm super duper excited about these. If you hold them in different lights, they look more pigmented and if you hold them like in other lightings they look kind of like a wash of color so they probably do the same thing on your eyes but they look pretty either way i'm super duper excited i know i keep saying that but i really am okay <laughs> so last but not least i did pick up a highlighter i don't know if it's going to be the same size or bigger yeah it's definitely bigger um it's super shock cheek that's what it says on the top Oh, let's go ahead and get this baby out. I forgot what color I got. But I only wanted to get one just in case I didn't like it or like the formula like as a highlighter. But I really was excited to try them out because I heard really good things. So it's quite more big. Same packaging. Oh, and the highlight shade is called Smokin' Whistles. Like that. And it says cheek. And it's a pearlized finish. Kind of looked like it broke apart a little bit. So that is what it looks like without the cap. It doesn't look like much. Hmm. Let's swatch it and see if anything changes. Oh my God. Do y'all do y'all see that? Oh, so beautiful. It even left like a mark from where I swatched it. So beautiful. Okay, let's swatch. Okay, so that, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it on camera. That's what it looks like. 
but it's super reflective but natural like it's not it doesn't look like highlight it looks like glow like it looks like straight up like wet skin I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell I probably look like an idiot but looks like straight up wet skin so I'm super duper excited about that I cannot wait to try it on I already have highlight on but I kind of want to try it on my face Let's see I'm just gonna wipe this brush off Can y'all tell? Ooh, that looks nice. That looks really pretty. I'm super duper excited about this. My brush kind of left hair strokes in it though. <laughs> I heard a lot of people actually put it on with their finger. Maybe I should try that. Oh, it's super pigmented. Bam! Bam! Damn, Daniel. Okay guys, <laughs> that is everything and I'm burning up with this window open. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up. So that is everything that I got from ColourPop. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you like the swatches, make sure to comment down below or like this video so I can know what to keep doing them for you guys. And also let me know if y'all want like a separate video like swatching these on my lips, the liquid lipsticks. Just let me know. And yeah, if you like hauls, then go ahead and give it a big thumbs up because so I can know to keep ordering things for you guys. And if you want to see anything from ColourPop that you want me to swatch or anything or do a review on, leave it down below so I could go ahead and pick that up for you guys. And yeah, um, follow me on my social media. I'm going to post some of these swatches on there. So follow me on everything. Snapchat, Instagram are all Brittany Raquel. And I'll have everything listed down below in the description. And yeah, that's pretty much it. If you are not subscribed to my channel, make sure to click that red button down below so you're subscribed and you can see when I upload my upcoming videos. And yeah, I upload a video like twice a week, sometimes three times a week, sometimes one times a week, but I always have a video out for you guys. And yeah, just join my beauty family at Brittany Raquel. So yeah, no more self-promotion. So that is it. Thank you so much for watching guys. And I love you. Until next time guys, bye.